Bueno, pues bienvenidos a una nueva entrevista de las que realizamos con desde it-latino.net. In this occasion we are going to speak English because uh, our interview is going to be in English. Here you have uh, Levante Barta from NetLife Hungarian. Hello Levante, how are you? Hello, hello Daniel. Thank you, I am fine. Let me explain, explain us a little bit about your company and about your offering, please. Okay, so let's start with a sm short uh, introduction of my company. So NetLife, it's an IT-based company from Hungary. We are based in Budapest uh -huh. and we have two main areas where we are active nowadays. One side, we are focusing on the ERP system, especially we are coming from the SCP world so it means that we are SAP consultants, SAP developers, and also SAP integrator experts. And we do like huge projects, uh, especially for um, international companies. On the other side, um, we are coming from the web world. So we make a custom application development, as well as nowadays uh, the mobile uh, development and also mobile customizing. It's a huge uh, territory. And we have innovative solutions nowadays iot and also connecting bi solution big data and uh, also uh, the, um, the artificial intelligence is getting more and more involved in our life so let's um, let's go back to the first part which is the erp especially the scp part and let's highlight some of the area where we are good so we come from the CRM side, the customer relationship management, which was our territory where we had several projects. But nowadays we see that the even the ERP world is changing a little bit. And that's why we are going into the IoT part. IoT, like Internet of Things, is getting more and more involved even in the ERP systems. And um, one of the fresh things what happened to us it was a couple of months ago, SCP introduced a new platform, this Leonardo platform. And in this platform, there are new areas, uh, even in the SCP IT world. And one of the area is the smart data streaming. Smart data streaming is nothing else but uh, SCP solution handling the IoT data streaming, which is coming continuously to the system. So let me tell you an example. Like you can imagine that nowadays we have more and more um, sensors and uh, therefore you want to use one of the sensors to measure your office or your home. Let's, let's talk about smart home system. And you, you can affordable buy a universal sensor which can measure a temperature, which can measure um, humidity, also the light and also other, other physical parameters. On the other side, you want to use this information either to control your facility like shadow system or your, your smart lights or the air condition. On the other side, you want to see some reports, historical reports. Therefore, we have built a demo regarding smart data streaming where we have installed the whole hardware environment and we we explained using a youtube video for the audience how to use it so it's nothing else but like a sensor like um, we saw on the screen it was a testers instruments sensor tag on the other side there is a raspberry pi which is connecting to the sensor using bluetooth the Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet, to the HANA platform. And in the HANA platform, we run this smart data streaming function as, as a solution to collect all the information, aggregate the information, make a filtering on the information, and provide the information for the dashboard. What does it mean, filtering and aggregation? So you can imagine some of the parameters from the sensor, like the temperature, 
is changing um, not so not so fast in the light so therefore you measure the temperature only in every second minute but the light it's really important therefore you measure it each each second it means that the data is coming to the server in different time therefore you have to make a kind of harmonization between the incoming storm of data this is what we do at the beginning once we have the data after we can make a kind of custom logic how to how to um control the devices like you can imagine like a shadow system or you can imagine like a smart light which is controlled by the system it means that if there is a sunshine coming to your uh, home the shadow can uh, um, switch switch on the light or you can imagine any other parameters so this is one of them what i wanted to say and now let's go to the other part which is like the innovative part uh, from my side here i also have some example iot like as a as a territory we have built a um, system it's called Celliot. Celliot is um, um web-based system it's a cloud system running for the factories do you see do you have the the this yes. in, in the website yes we have it's like celliot.cloud cell like c-a-l i-o-t dot cloud cell cell c-a-l i-o-t celliot is this one? No. Elliot? Mm. Do you see it? No, it's like not S, but Saliot. C like uh, like cloud. C. Yes, exactly. Saliot dot cloud. And uh, what does it mean? Okay. Yes, this one. This is a cell monitoring system. What does it mean, cell? Cell is a logical form in the factory. It means that you can imagine a manufacturing factory where there are like tables, and in these tables, there are machines. And these machines, they have the brain. It's called PLC, which is like, um, which is like, a, like really a base, um, electrical module controlling the the devices what what kind of device what we are talking about we can talking about like pressure machine like a, a driller we can like a like measure so any kind of any machines can be controlled by plc and before that it was um, a kind of manual work like how to count how many pieces do we have in the production and somebody went all around in the with paper and just called like uh, just as the people like how many pieces do you did you produce today and uh, it was the counting process so now we are in a 20, 21st century so that's why we try to go into the industry 4.0 uh, direction so therefore we installed uh, raspberry pis all around in the factory and using the Raspberry Pi, you connect to the PLC and collecting the, all the information from the machines you put to the um, server, which was an own NetLife-based product. And on the server, you aggregate the information and send back to TVs, show uh, like dashboards everywhere. So nowadays, if you go to the factory, you can imagine like you see all dashboards all around and you see the exact current uh, real-time data like uh, like how many piece do i have how many bad piece do i have um which which part is productive which is not productive and so on so it means that this is like a real-time monitoring system and even you can use your mobile or your a tablet to monitor to see what's going on in your factory uh -huh. and uh you have uh, developed all these uh, uh, yes. this product by yourself yes this is a uh, own production and and this and is it... really, really a fresh one we just launched this website 
a um, couple of months ago and is still ongoing and uh, we are we are working to produce more and more materials in order to explain how it works and it is all developed in in uh, sap hana no I'll this is this no. is our own product mm -hmm. this is web based product uh, it's um it's based on the standard web technologies mm -hmm. and on the other side we are uh, expert of SAP HANA, but it was the first example. Ah, okay, okay. So it's like two separate things. And uh, this has also, or this is, this is also related to predictive analytics for the maintenance of the machinery of the of the of the plant. Not yet. Mm -hmm. It's it's only the first step mm -hmm. into this direction. So the industry 4.0, this is a huge, huge uh, area. And in this area, we can talk about uh, mesh systems and we can talk about uh, ERP systems and other things. This one is um, focusing on a function where you collect the data and you display on a dashboard. And later on in the next steps or next versions, we can extend this solution having uh, predictive analytics and also we can connect to the maintenance part of the, the ERP system. And also we have standard connection to the SAP in order to get the data of the production. So it means that the production planning is based on SAP and this our software has an interface to collect all the data and run the whole factory based on the plan which, which is coming from SAP. Uh, how are you distributing this, uh, this, uh, pr uh, these services? I mean, uh, do you distribute uh, by yourself directly to the client or do you work with partners? We have to use our partner channels because this product is so complex and you are not able to, um, to just give to the client and use it. It's not like a, a product that you can just take from the shelf but you need really a good expertise, a local knowledge, and you have to know the client's business in order to implement on the right way and tailor on the on the local local requirements. What kind of partners do you do you think are more suitable for this uh, service? For example, integrators. ERP integrators or for for example, inter yes, this is a good a good uh, description because one side you need um, consultants to understand the requirement and also to to um, um, configure the system on the other side you need developers in order to uh, to use the standard tools to make the custom development so that's why integrator is the best description for the partners mm -hmm. uh, what kind of complement complementary uh, does this product or this service have with other software that uh, that you can find in the market I mean you have uh, manufacturing operational software for instance that that uh, maybe could be complementary to this service uh, as I mentioned this is a um, huge area and for example, in a mass MES um, yeah. part, uh, I can I can tell you more than 150 competitors. Uh -huh. So it means that this is a huge area. And this is you know this is not like a new innovation because I remember like 20 years ago we also had similar solutions, but which is new today and which is which is um, the message. Right now we have an easy to use interface which is really really easy to implement it on the other side the price of the the sensors went down so nowadays you can get can get a like a sensor tag for 20 40 euros you can get a raspberry pi for 40 euros you can get all the device uh, which is on really an affordable price you know, to, to make such a big system, you have to have have one side harder, 
the other side software and also the capacity and everything came together nowadays and that's why these systems are getting more and more popular uh, what, in 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 your com in your company, what are the main uh, or what are the importance of each of this line of business that you have explained me for your company? I mean, uh, in your web page, uh, we can see uh, all the kind of services as as for instance uh, SAP IT services or custom application services. Uh, what is the importance of each of these line of business for, for the company, for NetLife? Uh, what you mean, what is the most important, what is important for us the, or for the clients? For, for, for you, for you. I mean, for, for the incomes of, for, for the company. Yeah, um, we try to position ourselves like a innovative company. So we really try to be on the edge of the innovation. So it means that if something is new in the IT world, we try to make some pilot, we try to make some demos. Um, therefore, for example, here in Hungary, we are the most innovative uh, company regarding SAP world. Mm -hmm. On the other world, we are also comparable. Let me tell you some example. We are thinking about um, smart uh, smart cars so right now we are in the process to gain a, a, a electrical smart car in order to make a kind of integration to ERP systems on the other hand we have some devices like uh, um, smart glasses and we had some demos in the logistic how to use the smart glass also we had some custom development in a CRM part and mobile development and we have uh, other devices, like one of the branch of the company is dealing with crypto mining, and we are getting more and more involved in the blockchain technology because we believe that this is the future and we have to be the first or the second who is trying to use it. And finally, I would like to know what is your presence in, I don't know, where are your clients or your partners? Are only uh, in in Hungary, or you, do you have a, a presence in the rest of Europe, for instance? We are presented in the middle of Europe, based in Budapest, and as the surrounding countries, we have projects all around, like in uh, Romania, Slovakia, Serbia, and also uh, Austria. Uh, we have clients from Germany because of SCP. We have uh, strong strong connections, and of of course, in the previous 15 years, we had um, really a huge projects everywhere. So it means like uh, we had a project in Russia, we, had a, uh, we have right now currently a run, running project in the USA, and even in uh, Mexico and uh, South America, we had uh, uh, spot consulting. So you are interested in 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 reaching more partners in these uh, regions, uh, for instance, in Spain and in Latin America, no? Yes, yes, we do. So if you think that somebody who is having the same direction with what we have, and also having the similar capacity, we would like to meet with them and also to talk about future collaboration. Could we consider that you are more focused on, on the manufacturing uh, sector, on the manufacturing industry, by the kind of projects that you are explaining mm -hmm. uh, us? Yes, we can say that one side we are focusing on manufacturing industry, industry 4.0, and on the other side, uh, the innovative part of SCP, which is our, our one of our focus area. Within SCP, there, let me tell you some, some words, like, which is new. This is like um, the, what I mentioned, the Leonardo platform, which has some new functions regarding uh, um, artificial intelligence. It's called machine learning. And also the blockchain technology, what I mentioned, IoT, what you have seen. And also um, like the web technologies is called Fiori. Uh -huh. we, ha we have a landing page. It's called Fiori slash implementation.com where you can see all references what we made in the last three and four years regarding Fiori. Is Fiori... Fiori like a 
like a flower in uh, Italian language. Yeah. Uh, Fiori slash implementation.com. I'm going to Fiori slash implementation. Implementation.com. Is this one? In the first one, yes. And okay. um, this is a landing page for us, uh -huh. which has a topic, SCP Fury. SCP Fury is nothing else but a new surface of uh, the SCP. It's a web-based interface, uh, also running on mobile devices if you have the right uh, environment. And um, we had some development. We had that, Therefore, if you go to the blog part, uh -huh. you can read some news about uh, or or projects. All right. So this is another another speci specialization that you have. Say. Yes, I I would say we have a whole team focusing only on theory. Uh -huh. Great. So I guess I, I explained everything about us, and. Um, I would be quite happy if I would find a partners uh, focusing on such areas or somebody like a client from a client who could be interested about our service. Okay. Bas basically, we are a um, consultant company. So we sell our expertise. And um, so we are called because somebody need an education, somebody need a solution, or somebody has, has to make the project. Okay, Levanta, so thank you very much for your explanation. It was uh, very interesting. And we hope that uh, we will have you uh, again with us. Thank you very much. It's, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, thanks.